Okay, here we got the Boosted NW. It's a SST adapter with the two timer built in, so you can run two different tunes on one chip. And this is the new style chip. I like the older style chips that are harder to get, and there's tons of fakes. Anyways, uh, we got this. It's got two slots, selectable by this jumper or a switch. It's on the first two pins right there. You got tune number one. You switch over here, you got tune number two. And to show you how this works, we're gonna put it on tune number one. And then in Honda Tuning Suite, I put a check engine flash. So it flashes the check engine light on startup. On tune one, I put um, it to the flash four times. And then tune slot two, I put it to flash eight times so we can differentiate between the two tunes on the same chip. And when I turn it on, you see the adapter itself has blue LED indicating that it's reading from the chip. Um, we also got the tuner link Bluetooth adapter here for Bluetooth data logging and uh, tuner view. Go over that after this. Um, basically, it's on, and if I show you the dash, when you turn it on, since it's in tune slot one, the check engine light blinks four times, and then just goes off. And then turn it off and put it on tune slot two. Let me turn it on, it should blink eight times for tune slot number two. Now that shows that there's one chip and it's doing both tunes just at the change of this jumper here. Now you can also hook a, a switch, a toggle switch to ground, and then the other side of the switch to this middle pin, and that will also set it for when you flip the switch on, that it'll be in uh, tune slot number two mode. So basically you can have tune one or two at the flip of a switch. And we have these in stocks and ready to ship um, boostednw.com. We also have the tuner link Bluetooth adapters. That's already, I did this plug in right into the the CN2 port on the ECU. It's a direct plug-in adapter. We've made the, this board so it adapts straight to the Honda CN2 port. It just plugs in like that. And you can run your tuner view and have uh, your live gauges, or you can do Bluetooth data logging, or anything like that over Bluetooth. You know, the multiple tunes are also useful for things such as like a, a different tune for better traction when it's wet conditions, rainy or snowy. Um, you can also use it for a more aggressive tune or if you're using like Honda Tuning Suite and you have the popcorn mod, like the pops and bangs and burbles and stuff like that, you can have a, have a flip of the switch where you can turn that off. So like your uh, popcorn mod pops and bangs aren't super loud coming into your, your community or whatever. You can turn them on or off whenever you want. That's kind of nice for that. You can also use the dual tune switch for just a more aggressive tune like a high boost low boost tune or if you have uh, a separate tune such as like something with nitrous or something like that with a different activation uh, you can also set that in a different tune and then set that on number two and then have it be at the flip of a switch and here we got the 
Bluetooth adapter is plugged in and the light is steady on. Uh, it means it's connected to the device. So the device, in this case being um, this tablet, and the adapter there is showing on. We're in tune slot one. Not that that matters for any of this, but I just want to give a demonstration of the Bluetooth data logging here. It's showing this info, and right now the key is actually in the on position, but the car is not running. I'm going to go ahead and start it, and you'll be able to see the live data update.